Hello, and welcome to Casual Run Gaming. This is Jay. Hope you're all doing well on this fine Thursday evening. Tonight we're back with some Mass Effect 2. Uh, it's been a couple days since we uh, played. I think we're still in cleanup mode and uh, doing loyalty missions and uh, map completion. So that's what we're going to keep on with tonight. But yeah, I hope you're all doing well. I hope uh, you all are pumped for your Friday. It's coming right up. Uh, okay, so we had finished this here at the Migrant Fleet. We helped out Tally. Um, so now she is... Uh, we did her loyalty mission. While we're out here, let's go to Micah and Paz. Or Paz. Maybe that's how it's said. Uh, so peace in Spanish, basically. What do we got here? In 354 CE, Garbug was considered a bargain world, given the Krogan to, pl to placate them because no one else wanted to live on such a frozen rock. Technically a life-bearing world, Garbug had a small farm belt around its equator and well-insulated marine life in its seas. By the turn of the century, the Krogan had completely adapted, breeding hundreds of younglings for family in vast underground bunkers. By the turn of the next century, Garvug's narrow strips of coral reef had been destroyed by overfishing and pollutants. The Nexus Krogan took to the stars to find another planet to consume. Garvug was treated as an object lesson by the Citadel Council. The Krogan could not be trusted to check their own numbers. Today, Garvug is a frozen wasteland, home to corporate and eco-engineering efforts trying to implement sustainable agri- and aquaculture practices. Krogan and Vorcha Packs are a constant threat, and the corporations pay mercenaries well to keep their operations safe. There's a lot of codex for that one tiny place. Now we're going to go to Micah. All the way out here, wow. Lots of asteroids. Home to 51 moons, including the prebiotic moon Anaphiel. Duma is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant with violent surface winds exceeding 1900 kph kilometers per hour. Um, like its sister planet Elohi, it is believed to be an extrasolar capture. A small hydrogen helium gas giant formed around a metallic hydrogen core, Elohai will be the site of a rare astronomical event later this year. Comet Asaro will come in on its orbit of 70 galactic standard years and travel so close to the giant that it, it is predicted to be captured as a moon. Dozens of space probes from around the galaxy have been launched into the Rahil system to record this moment. Elohai is within the frost line of its parent star, where gas giants do not usually form. For this reason, it is believed to be an extrasolar capture. Travel advisory, a statistically significant number of distress signals have come from the 1 million kilometer mark around Elohai. Pirates are believed to be working in the area. In-person tourism is not advised. That looks like there's something right out here. Ah, look at that. Largest of the Ezo trio, Israfil, is a silicate heavy carbonaceous asteroid. It is home to approximately 40 species of microorganisms in, in its liquid water. It was blamed as a source of the prion-based biowarfare agent EHE, exotic humanoid encephalopathy, <laughs> used by the terrorist group Totenkopf in their attack on Gagarin Station in 2184. While many in the scientific community protested that Israfil did not have sufficient atmosphere or evolutionary history to sustain life, at the, pre at the prion level, the asteroid and its ESO miners were nevertheless quarantined to reassure the public that the System Alliance was taking action. Though no evidence has yet to be found that EHE originated from Israfil or was even synthesized in a local lab, the SSV Manila and a team of epidemiologists maintain watch over the asteroid's ship traffic now. Population of 1006. Okay. Look, there's something right here. Nope. Oh, wow. One of a trio of asteroids formed around an element zero core, Farless is the easiest to mine for ye low yield ESO. A carbonation asteroid, or carbonaceous asteroid, Farless has a trace of water bearing 
has a trace of water bearing minerals and organ or organic carbon in the form of kerogen. Currently, the asteroid is surrounded by Gorian mining ships e extracting fuel for the flotilla. Okay, should be one more. Whoop, right there. The second asteroid in the system formed around an element zero core, Kakabel, is another carbonaceous asteroid with a surface made of hydrogen. Hydrated minerals such as carbonates and clays. Beneath its icy surface is liquid water with some amino acids. The surface of Kakabel is pitted and scarred with strip mining stations where the Quarians took as much Ezo as possible before moving on. There we go, we have completed Mica. And also the Val the Valhallen Threshold. All right, let's, let's fuel up. All right, very nice. All right. Hmm. Could always do the Firewalker mission on uh, Hawking Eta. Um, maybe we could go back to the Omega Nebula. We're at 76% there. Um... Let's, let's go here. I don't even know if I chose the right place. We'll see. I did not. Yeah. That's where I want to go. Chandrasekhar. <laughs> cool. Cool name. The first and larger of the two gas giants in the Hawking Eta gateway system, Teshub, is composed mainly of hydrogen and helium. Brown and orange coloration of, in its upper clawed decks are caused by the upwelling of sulfur from lower levels of atmosphere. Ooh, it's a pretty color. Hebat is a methane ammonia ice giant. When heavy metals ex exo mining of China won the bidding rights to develop the moon of Presop, press rop in the century system it began by establishing helium-3 refueling facility on hebat the station completed this year is considered a model facility by the executives of the state-run company though the station produces more than enough fuel to supply the hmec ships running to and from century as a crew of only a dozen for uh, for maintenance and oversight nearly all the day-to-day -day operations are automated Oh, wow. Let's go down here to Schwarzschild first. Go in the middle here. A typical Venusian greenhouse world, Atajo is only of note for a few scattered critters. Though flattened by millions of years of high pressure, the marks of orbital bombardment strikes are unmistakable. It is generally accepted among academics that whoever hailed from or settled Schwarzschild's second planet, Edemus, must have had outputs on Atahil as well. Edemus is a superterrestrial world, a third larger than Earth. It is in a post-garden state that clearly, sh clearly shows evidence of attack from space. While now waterless, the shores of former oceans show patterns of cratering too regular to be anything but saturation bombardment by dreadnought-class kinetic weapons. Although it is unclear how, most of the atmosphere has been lost. Archaeologists have found little of note. It appears that all settled regions were touched by the global bombardment. A few relics found suggest an advanced space marine cult culture thrived on the world somewhere between from 20 and 40 million years ago. The level of antiquity means or it makes it possible to estimate the world's former population or guess whether it was the race's homeworld or a colony. Lenosa is a hydrogen helium gas giant. It is surrounded by several thin rings of debris. Analysis of this debris has been difficult due to its extreme age and fragility. Several apparently nano-manufactured materials have been identified. The leading theory is that the inhabitants of Edemus mined the atmosphere for helium-3. 
Hey Shadow, how's it going, dude? You know, just going from uh, planet to planet, finding out things. <laughs> Mass Effect things, you know. How are you doing, man? Rahali is a typical hydrogen helium gas giant. It is notable because none of its moons is larger than 12 kilometers in diameter, a rare trait among the charted gas giants of the galaxy. Wow. Goodbye, Schwarzschild. It's been nice. Uh, let's go to Thorn. Oh, wait. Nope. We're not going to go to Thorn. That's where the Reaper I I IFF is. Nope. We are not BFFs with the IFF. Tom Tamahera has a thin atmosphere of carbon dioxide and xenon. Surface is icy and composed of sodium oxide with deposits of calcium. It contains a few unremarkable metals, but mainly consists of rock. The presence of I was about to say crayons, canyons, and floodplains indicates that liquid water once existed, suggesting Tamahera had a thicker insulating atmosphere in the past. Going getting pretty close to the end in ME3, so I started the Citadel DLC. Oh, 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 that's funny. Isn't the Citadel DLC the one that they added after the game came out? I thought, don't tell me, but I thought it was like an, al an alternate ending or something. I don't know. I remember that there was controversy around it. Clendagon is an arid terrestrial slightly larger than Earth. Okay, I read that weird, but whatever. But with a lower density that reflects its relative lack of heavier elements. The crust is composed of tin and aluminum with wide deserts of dust-fine sand that are easily stirred by the wind. Plundagon's most striking feature is the Great Rift Valley that stretches across the southern hemisphere. What is most fascinating about the rift is that it does not appear to be natural. The geological records suggest it is the result of a glancing blow by a mass accelerator round of unimaginable destructive power. This appeared some 37 million years ago. This one looks like uh, one of those candies, uh, Warheads. I think that's what they used to look like. <laughs> uh, I don't know if it gives an alternate ending, but it is a nice little funny DLC giving you more time with the crew before the final. Ah, oh, okay. I see. A terrestrial world of average size Contra's atmosphere composed of nitrogen and argon. Its frozen surface is mainly composed of tin with deposits of calcium. Aside from some spectacular formations of water ice at the poles, the planet has little to recommend it. Looks very sour though. So sour. The Rapto is a typical ice giant with traces of chlorine and sulfur in its atmosphere. It has over 100 moons, wow, in an extensive ring system composed of pulverized rock, presumably the debris from shattered moons. Oh wow, so maybe it had even more moons, but they've shattered? Wow. Firewalker Artifact Collection. Oh man, I, okay. The button is like right on top of the, <laughs> the banner for the other thing. Okay. Sarao is a standard hydrogen helium gas giant. Its most obvious features are a pair of gigantic storm cells, one in the northern hemisphere and one in the south. While richer in helium-3 than Aluja, the difficulties of extraction from Sarao, Sarao's gravity well and stormy atmosphere led to the other gas giant's development. Sarao has over 80 moons ranging from a radius of 50 to 2,000 kilometers. The Asari Ter Tersicor Council has established an observation post on one of the larger moons to study the planet's twin storm systems. Luza is a small, dense ice giant with high con Concentrations of water, ammonia, and methane. A few automated helium-3 fuel stations have been established to refuel the ore freighters shuttling to and from Korang. The Krang. Anomaly detected. Initial surveys of Krang <laughs> noted its high density and active plate tectonics, suggesting a high internal heat fueled by a greater than normal concentration of heavy elements and radioactives. Early test scores proved the mineral richness of the world, but distance from the mass relay in the century system made it unprofitable to develop until late 2183. The atmosphere is a smog of methane, ammonia, and water vapor, a so-called primordial soup, primordial soup, similar to the conditions of early Earth. 
However, there is no evidence of life developing on, Korang, on Krang's surface <laughs> beyond the level of simple dextro amino acids. The smallest things make me laugh. Uh, the minimal energy input of the red dwarf, Ver, have created an energy-starved surface environment, though the planet's volcanism does hold open some possibility for subterranean development. No, wait, no, this is an anomaly. I must scan. I must scan. Probe away. Something on our sensors. Anomaly detected. Scans have found locations matching the descriptions of Dr. Case's survey sites. Exploring the sites could reveal valuable mission data. Warning, Geth presence detected on planet's surface. Use extreme caution. I'm always so careful. Loyal. Um... Do we need, what, four more? Then I don't know what this is. Um, Miranda and Garrus, the original crew. Ooh. Heavy overload greatly increases overload damage, stabilizes synthetic enemies, causing them to explode when destroyed. Greatly increases explosion radius of overload, making it easier to hit multiple targets. We're gonna go with heavy overload. I think. Yeah. We have enough for slam. Hmm. Huh. Wondering if we should hold off for some of these. Or if we just should go with slam. You know what? Yeah. We're gonna slam. Alright, we have three points here. I'm gonna put them there. Here we go. Oh, what? Scanning for mission objectives. Okay, so there's actually going to be enemies. Mission objectives located. There we go. What is this over here? It's not, it's not splodable. Whoa. Get the drop ship detected. Oh boy. All right, so, so we don't have to fight the drop ship. We just have to. Oh boy. We're about to blow up, aren't we? Got him. Oh. Well, that disappeared. That disappeared real nice. Trying to decide what I want to play after I finish ME3. Whoop. Um, I don't think I'm gonna do Andromeda and I need to get a new screen from my PS5 before I can play anything on that. A new a new screen? Like uh you wanna buy a new TV before playing anything on your PS5? Is that is that what you're saying? Got the armatures without you using a Mako to ragdoll them to death flame. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't gonna try to run it over with this. I got hit once and I'm immediately like 
in the danger zone? Yeah, the PC screen I was using for my PS5 fell on the screen. No! Oh, that sucks, dude. Uh, ouch, ouch. I'm wondering if there's something over here I can get. No. Wow, those textures. Yikes. Warning. Get forces detected. Oh. Well, this is what I need over here. I'm just going to go ahead and hide. Oh, come on. Stop moving. I'm going to fall in the goo. I don't want to fall in the goo. There we go. Also, I think the vehicles does the sirens when you get hit. Regardless, you aren't really in danger until there's visible damage. Oh. So they just try and scare me, huh? You hear that? Whoop, 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 whoop. Fired. Fired. Oh, <laughs> there's someone standing behind it. You're silly. That's a bad place to, to try and hide. I don't know what it is, but the game is getting all choppy. I don't I don't know what's going on. To be fair, scaring you is easy. That's true. When was the last time you played a horror game? A year ago. Well it depends. I mean, what do you consider a horror game? <laughs> I I play Dead Rising every now and then. Holy potatoes, oh no! How far back are they gonna set me? Oh, you're kidding. From from the beginning. Oh, and it and it's gonna act like I didn't. Ugh. It doesn't let you um it doesn't let you save during this mission, so... Alright, I can't skip this cutscene. See? Visible damage. Oh, I saw. And then I go boom. Wow. Something tells me that Scanning for mission objectives. people may uh, tend to skip these missions, I'm guessing. Mission I did them mainly for the XP. I don't really know if I need the XP, but man. Um, try doing this on insanity. Dude, I, I am insane though. I'm actually insane. <laughs> Acquired. Well, at least now we can kind of speed run this, I guess. I want to say speed run it, but you know what I mean. Not take as much time as we were as we were before.
I guess the name of this game is just stay as far away as you can. <laughs> oh, it's gone now. Acquired. Acquired. Yeah, there's something weird going on over here. Once you get over here, the frame rate gets all, all weird. Must just be uh, some some sort of bug or something. Actually, now that you mention it, Dead Rising, I did get Dead, Dead Island 2 not long ago. I might try that. Hey, here's one to try. Warning: Hostile forces approaching. I I enjoyed the first Dead Island. Um, Oh shoot, man. Yeah, this. There we go. Is that gonna do it? No, it's not even hitting it. Ow. Here we go. Nailed it. Acquired. Acquired. Uh, okay. Yeah, like, what is up with the... this do anything? Like, what the heck? Uh... Hmm. Oh, I see. Okay. Oh, is there anything to get over here? No special loots. Not really noticing anything, but maybe due to the mission being more open and large, is I don't know. I, I'm also only playing at 1080p now. I was playing at uh, 4K uh, up until like a few weeks ago, but I moved my setup again um, back to like the 1080p monitor and stuff. I think it might just be this area that might not be super well optimized. Um, kind of wonder if maybe it gave um, PC. The PC version troubles on the uh, regular version of Mass Effect 2. Like, like it's weird. It's almost like it's. You know what it might be? Actually, it might be this. You know, because it never keeps my my settings. So, wonder if that could be it. That that might be it. So what? So what that uh, does there? What that setting does? is because the game can be kind of twitchy it does something to try and like smooth out even when you're so like if you're trying to move slow it'll purposefully try to make it slower instead of just allowing it to be more precise i think that's i think that might be it how many times do you update your setup uh way too many times man it's just it's it's my brain i'm in a constant state of just well, maybe I'll do this. Well, maybe I'll do that. Uh, this. The way my old brain works. <laughs> I kind of do it with everything. And then it was... I mean, and like a lot of it too was like... If I was going to start to stream again... Um, it was really difficult doing it from where I was. Like the, uh, t like the TV is still down here for when I want to watch movies and stuff. Um, but yeah, like, if I'm playing on PC with a keyboard and mouse, it's just easier on a smaller screen that's, like, closer to my face. Required. This is still doing that thing a little bit, though. It's, it's just a little choppy. Yeah. I did have to alt-tab out of the game, too. I wonder if that did something. 
had to alt tab before uh, out of the game before whoa before starting stream. I wonder if it did not like that. Go up here. Whoa, did I just run into that? Yep, I guess I sure did. Dude, th those turrets are a pain to have to shoot. I I always tend to rely on my um my companions to shoot them down or to uh, hit them with, with biotics. Warning. Get forces detected. Get forces detected. Oh shoot. What? No way! No way! Do not start me over. You have got to be kidding. Yeah, I want to update my setup too, but I'm going to wait for my tax return and that money is probably going to go towards filling up the house still. Yes, I'm very much rip. What the heck, man? Um, when you say f filling up the house, do you, do you mean like I'm um, buying like a uh, furniture and stuff like that? The heck, man. I'm, I, I am... You can't see me right now, but I am not, not happy. <laughs> like, I don't want to keep doing this. Get the drop ship detected. Furniture and entertainment center, etc. My living room is, is, is still pretty empty. <laughs> What's funny is that when, when when we've had to buy furniture and stuff, the first place that I always think of is is the living room. <laughs> and I was like, no, well, you know, if worst comes to worst, you just sleep in the living room and at least you'll have that all furnished, right? <laughs> the office because I needed a bike a bike to work from home you need oh you needed to be able to work from home yep Required. that that makes sense for sure Sorry, my hands move faster than I can control that. That's cool, dude. I can usually uh, decipher what uh, people are saying. So this is something I could do, but this seems just really... This isn't much fun to, like, just shoot them from so far away. But man, is this ever annoying. Required. 
All right, so right up here. At least we can do this faster, faster now, but it just, I'm really annoyed. Yeah, but you are so squishy, at least the Mako had a shield. Yep, that's true. Extraction complete. Yep. And when you were in the Mako, if you had, like, so... Say if you had Tally in your group, would it stay alive longer because she was good at engineering? Is that how that worked? Like, was that, was that something that they took into account? Weapons and movement are amazing. Just your health sucks. Yeah. Yeah, like, like this thing is fun to, like, roam around in. It actually makes me wish that, you know, instead of probing planets, it would let you land on planets and then you could get resources while in inside this thing. That, I think, would be really neat. Cause yeah, this thing is is uh, fun. I I also really like the Mako. I know a lot of people do not like it, but I actually thought the Mako was really cool. I was not mad about the Mako. All right, can I can I do this? I can. Look at that. Hey, Ninja, how's it going, man? one I think it was you could repair more if you had high electronics maybe that might make sense like if you had like like I said like if you had tally that raised your electronics well So this was really annoying, but at least now I think we're done. So I felt the Mako was slow and bulky, but you had infinite range and were pretty tanky. Yeah, like I thought it completed. felt good for like what it for what it was. June, it's like 9:25, buddy. It's not time to eat yet. Alright, let's go. Let's go before we die. I think that might be it for all the Firewalker stuff. Data recovered from Planet Service historically. Significant artifacts recovered. Dr. Case's location not found among recovered data. Geth presence on the planet eradicated. Or maybe not? Did I, did I not complete them? Kelly, am I done? Kelly, am I done? Kelly? Commander, you've received a new message Thanks. Private you know, I really feel like she's upset with me for some reason. A pleasure to meet you from Admiral Darozen Vasmora. Shepard Vas Normandy. I've been digging through the Alarai. Just wanted to just wanted you to know that I did find a few things from the experiments Ralzora was conducting. Had you shared them with me, humanity might have reaped the benefits. Instead, once my own experiments are complete, uh, you and your people will watch from a distance as the Corian people reclaim not just their homeworld, but the largest synthetic army in the galaxy. Ralzora is death. Will not have been in vain. I will complete what he started cordially. Admiral Darozen Vasmora. Uh, I uh, did we make a big mistake? Artifacts cataloged from Project Firewalker. The artifacts you gathered might give us a lead on a larger protein site. They have incredible value for historians. It might be instrumental in building our understanding of the, the protein legacy. Excellent work in mitigating the Geth presence, Commander. We'll keep you apprised of further Geth activity should it threaten mission integrity. Well, well, 
<laughs> well, I didn't do it on purpose. I thought I was doing the right. Th like, did that sound bad? I felt threatened. All right, we're not going to go to Thorn just yet. Well, what did you choose when, with the quarry mission? I chose to take Tally with me and I didn't tell them what her dad was working on. I chose to tell them like, hey, you know, she shouldn't have to prove herself because she was with me when we took down Saren. So. Oops, I need to go there. Need to jump. All right, so. Hmm. Oh, oh my gosh, there's so much to do. So much to do. Let's go to the Omega Nebula. Oh, I think it's fine. Then the Admiral is focused on using the Geth. As, um, it sounds like he wants to do what I was scared they were gonna do. Is that they're they're gonna retake their home world? They say they're gonna they're confident that they can do that, and that they want to use the Geth, which makes me nervous. Um, let's help Samara. Okay. This Samara's mission, this one is weird. I think I vaguely remember the end of it, and that's 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 all I remember. Uh, let's take Samara and Garrus. So, is four points. Um, row or pull? Oh man, throw field sounds sounds cool. Uh let's let's do that. Cool. This use for what Oh, okay. I actually like her loadout. <laughs> the loadout that the I would count on Omega is too high for me to pinpoint in Ardot Yakshi's location. However, given the reputation of Ardot Yakshi among the Asari, Arya Talok may have tracked her movements. Thank you. Okay, so let's go to Afterlife. The Locust SMG best close range bullet hose in the game. I'm I'm mad that I can't use SMGs. I thought I could. Gavorn, yeah, you got anything new to say? Got something to report? Uh, no. I'll just be going. Keep up the good work. I saw him on a video taking down a couple of uh goons. Come on, let me in. Ari's expecting oh. Wow. I remember coming here like th three or four weeks ago. <laughs> Been a while. It's just you. What do you need? Um, Samara's daughter. A sorry fugitive is hiding out here. She's an Ardat Yakshi. We need to find her. I knew it. Nothing leaves a body quite so empty as an Ardat Yakshi does. You haven't taken steps to kill her. Why would I? She hasn't tried to seduce me. Her last victim was a young girl. Pretty thing. Lived in the tenements near here. That's where I start looking. Hmm. Okay, I will. Thanks for the help. Good luck finding her. Better luck catching her. Hmm. I like her. 
Um, CRG looks perfect. Oh, thank you. Can't get any better. Thank you. <laughs> See what happens when you spend streams reading planets. I know, right? <laughs> and what's crazy is that um, the amount of resources that we have is way more than than we need. So that's why I stopped doing that. But it's just funny. I've I I think I've read like twenty planets, and I'm like, oh my gosh! Imagine if I had stopped to actually like Come hit the resources. On, uh, let's see. Apartments. Yish. Greetings. I was hoping you'd come by. I'm Ish, and this is Cell. You look like a good person to know. Uh, nice to see someone pleasant. Friendly faces seem hard to come by around here. I would never be done with the game. True. Reasonable people True. are more valuable than air <laughs> in a place like this. Um, can I help you? You need something. Well, if you'd be so kind, I hoped you might consider a proposition. I need skilled, trustworthy people to take care of a little business for me. Nothing illegal, of course, but it's paying work. Mm-hmm. Tell me about yourself, Ish. What kind of business do you do? Important business. So important that with your help, we can change Omega. How would we do that? What do you mean, we can change Omega? Well, I didn't want to say anything, but... Certain people here have business deals with people throughout the galaxy. If we were to have information involving those deals, we could make some ripples around here. That's all I'll say. <laughs> so do you want me to talk to my friend the Shadow Broker? Is that what you want? You want some information? What do you need? I'm listening. I'm in the information business. Uh, of course you are. the buying and selling of privileged material. It's nothing illicit. I just need someone to pick up packages in certain locations and bring them to me here. Uh, I need more info than that, bud. What's your angle? No angle. I'm a simple businessman. What do you say? <laughs> uh, sure, you have a deal. I can do that. My contacts use specific drop points. I need you to look outside Merib's shop on the Citadel and inside Eternity on Ilium. Look around for anything that might hold a data package and bring those packages to me. Good luck, my friends. That's it? Okay. I can do that, right? All right. Uh, oh, can, can we buy stuff from here that we haven't bought? Oh, I forgot about this. Ordnance packs co-developed by Rahel Group and Beckman Financial to solve the issue of munition storage for heavy weapon class engagement tools and be spare weapon. Sure. Only 2,000. Yeah, I'll buy it. Hack module doubles the time limit for hack. I'll buy that too. This might be useful. Yeah, let's go. Go to Omega Market too. Stabilization gauntlets. Yeah, I'll take those. Strength boost path pads. Melee damage up. Sure, never do that, but I'll take it. Sniper rifle damage. Fifty thousand. Blood Dragon Armor? I want this. But now I don't have enough for that. Okay. Darn. <laughs> I need more money. VIP only. Junk. Walking around in this place makes me sick. People still dying. The strong still exploiting the weak. Nothing I did here even made a dent in this. Poor Garrus. Uh. Okay. Looks like I'm going the wrong way. Out of the way, friends. I think I bought everything from here earlier. Nope. 
shotgun damage, 50,000. I need, I need 54,000 credits. Oh, what the heck? I'm back up here. Let's go back. It's weird as much as I enjoy the later Emmy games. I think I still em enjoy Emmy 1 the most despite its jank. Same. 2 two is a really big improvement on everything. But I feel like 1 still is is better. Um, for like interactions and things like that. I think it's this way. Diana? Are you here about my daughter? My nephew died a week ago and no one seems to care. The medic said it was a brain hemorrhage, but that's not true. It was murder. Someone killed my nephew, my baby. I believe you. I think she was murdered too, and I'm looking for her killer. You feel like two is too long? Oh, thank you. It's so hard when no one believes you. I'm all alone now. Are you? One of Arya's people? Uh, three felt like your choices didn't really matter from the later games. Or from the earlier games, you mean? The, yeah. Oh, okay. Well, that stinks. Especially because it wraps up the trilogy. <laughs> uh, I'm on your side. I'm here to help. Does it matter who sent me? No one else on this hellhole station gives a damn that my nephew is dead. If you can do something about it, I'll help you however I can. Okay. Uh, Neff's friends. Did your daughter have a lot of friends? Not a lot, no. She was shy. Spent most of her time off making her sculptures, not hanging out with friends. Something did change in the last few weeks, though. She started talking about an Asari. Uh-huh, that's who we're Lord. looking for. I see. I didn't like her. She kept dragging Neff out to clubs, and I'm pretty sure she gave my daughter drugs. Uh, so can I give an example based on a choice if you, uh, you did in one? Um, sure. Because, I mean, if nothing happens with the choice we made in one throughout the next two games, it's fine. Um, yeah, I, I feel like this game, for me, would be better than one if they actually let me take the hammerhead out. Or even if they brought back the Mako in the game and instead of, you know, probing the planets, they would let me go... It, I, if I couldn't visit all 120 or 30 or whatever it is that they have in the game, that's fine. If I could only visit, you know, 10 or 20, but I could go back there and things would respawn and stuff, that's better than doing the probing. At least I'd be out there in my vehicle that I like, that I like to uh, use, and you know there'd be enemies out there like, th like what happened to the Thresher Maws? What the heck, right? Like, you know. It, it's uh, that that's what I feel could have made this better, but maybe they didn't have enough time because if I if I remember correctly the turnaround time between Mass Effect 1 and 2 was very short Very very short. I think it was only a couple years maybe maybe three tops and that is not much When you're making a game like at at the time this game was massive um, So in Overia you saved the Rachni, right? Uh, yes, I did Tell me about the Sasari. What kind of a person was this Morinth? I never met her, but Neff talked about her like she was a queen. You'd swear there was no one else alive when she talked about Morinth. Mm -hmm. That sounds familiar. Yep. Hangouts. Did Neff hang out anywhere in particular? She was always quiet working here at home. Then, a few weeks ago, she started going out all the time to the VIP area of that club down the street. Uh -huh. I think you need a password or something to get in there. The change was so sudden. She just seemed tired and distracted when she wasn't around Morand. Uh, tell me a bit about Neff. What kind of a girl was your daughter? My Neff had a fire inside her. She was shy, but she was creative and driven and uh, the best girl a mother could hope for. She was creative? How so? She was a sculptor. Several galleries were interested in her. Said her work was fresh. <laughs> You got that fresh new sculpting style. 
May I look around? You mind if I examine Neff's room? I didn't want to disturb anything. Her clothes, her art, her sculptures, everything is the way she left it. The way it will always be. My baby is gone. Let me hug you. you. I'm sorry, I just miss her so much. It's okay. We've all suffered loss. I know what it means to lose a daughter. I will avenge her. Thank you. Please, if it helps you find her killer, look through her things. We will be respectful. I'll examine her things. So I gotta be honest too, with us, like you know how they give us the options, sometimes it'll come up as a renegade thing that I could do and sometimes it'll come up with like a paragon thing. It It's always strange to me that I want to say every time except for maybe once or twice that I've used the paragon one, it's always been to give a hug. And I don't, like I don't think that's the best choice. I don't know. I'm not crazy about that. Um, I would think that the Renegade one is like punching someone or something. That's probably more entertaining. But I, I don't like how it's like, oh, you're going to do the Paragon thing? All right, get ready for a hug. Bring it in. Bring it in. I don't like it. Um, well, in three, you meet the Rachni Queen again based on that choice. But if you choose to kill the Queen in three, a new Queen still exists, which didn't really make sense because either way, the Rachni survived your choice. But isn't that the way, like, isn't that the way it always is, though? Like, didn't she say, like, there always has to be a queen in the first game? And also, wasn't the queen that they had in the first game, they, they like, they had an egg and they, like, hatched it and stuff and made a new queen? I don't know. I thought that that was really strange anyways. And, like, um, at the beginning of this game, when you first get to Ilium... There's an Asari that stops you and is like, oh, hey, you know, and starts talking to you and it's, and it's the Rachni Queen. I don't know. More, more weird, weird decisions. <laughs> There's a sculpture. Neff made that. A man from some gallery offered me four years salary for it. Wow. But I'd never part with it. Really? Four years salary? Oh, are these the drugs that she was talking about? Stuff in the purple things, the purple cans. Neff, I'm sending you this hologram by the Elcor artist Forta. His work is sublime, but don't stare at it too long or you may go mad. I don't want anything bad to happen to you, love. I can't wait to hear what you think of Forta. Okay. Was that Morinth? Uh, it was an egg floating in space on an old Rachni ship. I just feel like your choices one didn't amount to much due to events in three. Hmm. Um, read the oldest entry. Read the oldest entry. Hey, diary. Cycle 34, orbit 671. There's a lot to talk about. It said read, not watch a video. And they let me into the VIP room at Afterlife. I'm sure everyone was staring at me. Then the most beautiful Asari starts dancing near me. She moves like water, form and volume, but shifting, changing. I'm in a trance. Then I'm dancing with her. Later, we went for skewers, and I'm supposed to see her again tomorrow. Hmm. Uh, in an attempt to unify all the races against the Reapers. Yeah, like that. Like that's kind of like the arc, right? In the third game is like that's that's what I remember, and that's why I was told like, no, you gotta do the multiplayer to help. Um, and it was yeah to get all the races together to fight the Reapers. Um, yeah, see, like it says, read the oldest entry. We didn't read. It played a video. Read the middle e entry or just show me a video. Read Don't, the middle entry. Show me the video. Roll it. Cycle 36, orbit 671. Oh, am I a freak? Morinth is a girl like me, and she's definitely not human. Just when we dance and the Halex is flowing through me... The way she looks at me, Alex? with a, a hunger, a longing, no one's ever looked at me like that. We kiss tonight. Read the newest entry. Read the newest entry. Cycle 42, orbit 67. She's going to take me to her apartment tonight. Whatever happens, I want to be with her forever. She can 
can sell my pieces, we can live somewhere glamorous, like the women in Vanya that Vid Morinth likes. How did this happen to me? I'm just dumb trash from Omega. Well, let's close the journal. We're done here. Close the hollow journal. This is Morinth's work. She's attracted to artists and creators. Someone with a spark slightly isolated from their peers. She impresses with sophistication and sex appeal. And she strikes. The hunt interests her as much as the conquest. Sounds dangerous. Yes, we know she's dangerous. Ugh. Some of these dialogue choices, man. Anyone who successfully hunted sapient beings for 400 years warrants caution. Morin speaks to you on many levels. Her body tells yours that she'll bring unimaginable ecstasy. Her scent evokes emotions long hidden. Her eyes promise you things you were always scared to ask of another. Her voice whispers to you after she is done speaking. Like, it... It's not that I don't like the dialogue because I, I feel like what he said there was good, but it's just the way that they put it here for me to choose. It's just not great. And then also they give it away by, you know, the top is always the... is always the paragon. The middle is neutral. And then the bottom is renegade. Like, it would be nice if they would mix it up and kind of like... You you decide what it is you actually want to say, and then you'll find out whether or not that's the good guy thing to say or not. Um, but I mean, at the same time, I do get it too. Like, you know, I wouldn't want to say something that is renegade. I want to do the Paragon. And, and another problem that I mentioned last week, I think, was that I don't like how the game is like, this is the Paragon choice. And it's like, th I don't think that it, if you ask me, that is not Paragon. That is not what it, I think is right. And it's telling me like, no, this is the right thing. And it, I, I don't like that. Uh, wasn't that always the way it's been even in one? I don't know. Like if you play on insanity, it doesn't switch them up or anything. I, I don't know. But um, I don't know. Like that bothers me too, that it's like, <laughs> I have to go off of whatever you think is moral, like, or go off of, like, it's just strange. Like, and because a lot of this stuff, the Paragon and Renegade really aren't that far apart for a lot of things, unless if, you know, like we talked about the Rachni thing earlier, it's like, yes, killing off an entire species. Okay, that's clearly, it's like that or save them. That's clearly like, hey, it's one or the other, but it's not like, you know, kill this one Rachni just so it won't kill you. Like, like it's just like, that's, you know, like, we could let it go or we could kill it now. Like, that's more of a Renegade Paragon type. I, like, it's closer to what Renegade and Paragon would be, but at the same time, it's like, you know, what if you're like, no, but I'm, I'm Commander Shepard. I'm here to bring justice, you know, and it's like, I want to shoot you because that's what I think is right. Or it's like, I'm bringing justice, but I'm going to let you go and show mercy. And that's what I think is right. So it's like, it's like weird. And it it's, I, I don't know. I have a problem with it. Or killing your entire, excuse me? Is that even an, tell me because I, cause I'd never do it. Is that an actual option? Um, a perfect predator. She sounds more like a highly evolved killer than a genetic defective. The condition has been present since my people huddled around fires at night. Perhaps it is symbiotic rather than a defect. Storming her den would be a mistake. She will have a hundred escape routes planned. She will go to ground and disappear for 50 years or more. This is the closest I've ever been. We'll lay a trap for her. So we have to lure her out. Exactly. Shepard, you read my mind. Afterlife's VIP section seems her preferred hunting ground. You must go there alone and unarmed. <laughs> alone and unarmed? No thanks. Uh, you can get your entire crew killed when you're the only survivor of this. What? Okay. It I'll say it now. Like, but. Yeah. I only lost one person when I played Mass Effect 2. And it, I won't say who it is until we actually do it. Um, wow. I'm surprised, though. Um, 
I'm the bait? That should be question mark. She'll come after me. You can draw Morinth out. She'll certainly flee if she catches sight of me, but she won't be able to resist you. You are an artist on the battlefield. You have the vital spark that attracts her. Your power will draw her in. Let's go then. Time's wasting. Let's get over there. I agree. We can talk more once we're there. Go to the VIP club. Hello again. Oh. Did you find anything? Is there I didn't anything know. I can do to help? Uh, no. I should go. <laughs> I should go. Bye bye. Oh, bye bye. Um. Okay. I think it's up here. Yep. I mean, regardless, I still think that this is a great game and like I really enjoy Mass Effect 1 a lot. But it's just, that's how I feel about those things. <laughs> if you don't do any of your cruise loyalty missions or get any of the ship's upgrades, you can get everyone. Oh, wow. What do you want? Uh, let me in. I'd like to join the party. This really isn't your kind of place. Afterlife's main floor has lots of drinks and great music. Uh, no, you will let me in. What do you want? Jarut sent me. Here we go. Someone told me the rest of Afterlife is nothing compared to this place. Sounds like a smart person. Who was it? Jarut. Go on in. Psh. Word to the wise. Start a fight, we'll hurt you. Someone attacks you, it's okay to defend yourself. Go ahead and try attacking me. I dare you. <laughs> like... Why is Samara like that? Like, hey, silly wave. You must go in it's alone. It's me. Marinth will be watching. Like any predator, she is cautious. You must pique her interest enough that she will approach you. When you are face to face, subtly encourage her to invite you to her apartment. I'll follow discreetly, and when you are alone, I'll spring the trap. Know this, until I get there, you are in great peril. She will be planning to inflict horrors on you. If you are not careful, you will want her to. Okay. Uh, drawing warmth out. How can I spark her interest when I'm not even talking to her? Courage or suicidal bravery could attract her. Hurt someone in defense and she will be excited. But pick a fight and she'll be bored. Show skill at working smoothly through a nightclub crowd. She will be intrigued. She'll want you the moment she sees you. The rest is just a matter of overpowering her caution. Okay. Uh, getting to Morin's apartment. How do I convince her to take me home? She admires strength. Oh. Violence excites her. You've killed Shepard. She'll like that. Okay. I feel like that was the same as this. Uh, alone with Morinth? Question mark? Getting her alone, then falling under her sway? That'll require careful timing. I will be near, and I will come for you, Shepard. Trust me, as I trust and honor you. Uh, review your findings, or our findings. Okay, what other things have we learned about Morinth that can help us here? According to Neff's journal, Morinth likes dancing while on a drug called Halax. Neff's journal mentioned a vid called Veyenya. It seemed to have something to do with glamorous women. Morin sent Neff a note saying she likes the Elcor artist Forta. Well, Shepard, that's everything we know. I know what to do. Let's get started. Shepherd, I am charming. You only get one chance at this. Any mistake and Morin will disappear. If you're the least bit unsure, come talk to me. I will wait here. And Shepard, thank you. I do not share this burden easily. And you are the only soul I can imagine sharing it with. All right, split up and attract Morinth. Well, let's get to attracting, right? Hey there, Viz. Hey, do you know where to get tickets for Expel 10? I heard this amazing Asari say they were her favorite band. I want to... I just want whatever she wants. I gotta find tickets. Expel 10 is playing tomorrow. Um, Expel 10 is a band? What kind of music would they play? They're a sensory band. Like, they crawl into you and make you feel things. And this is sorry, digs them like you wouldn't believe. I could score way out of my league, you know? You, you gotta help me. Um, if I say get away from me, is is he gonna try and hit me? That's what I want, right? Wait, where where is she? She sounds amazing. 
Is she here? She was here a couple of days ago talking about the band. She's here a lot. When she comes back, I'm gonna have tickets. Dude, get away from me. I'm ready to punch someone, and you're too close. Relax, relax. It's cool. I'll step off. What? Renegade? No. No. I was afraid that that was what was going to happen there. I want I just want whatever she what wants. Kind of music so I could score way out of my league, you know? She sounds amazing. She was, when she comes back, I'm going to have I don't have any tickets. If you score some, I got some creds for you. Oh, do you know? Okay. Well, now that I know that, Expel 10 is... I love this place! Yeah, I me too. It's great. Yeah. <laughs> You're breathtaking. Hi again. I Hi. Said I you, so. <laughs> Hi again. I already said you love it. You just threatened a dude. Yes, Renegade. No, 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 no. I, w I was pretending so he would try to fight me so I could defend myself, right? And, you know, impress Morinth. That's what I thought I could do. I need help right now, and I don't know who to ask. You're human, and you don't look high, so you're it. Can you help me out? Uh, calm down, bud. Slow down and tell me what the problem is. Right. Slow down. Sorry, I, I just don't know what to do. My friend Moiral is doing a piece on Omega Games. She's hanging with Flora. He's the worst of the worst. All right, doing a piece? What is she doing? A bid piece. She's an investigative reporter, you know? She's trying to profile game news. Mm-hmm. Sounds dangerous. Your friend could get hurt. Yeah, and she's going to. See, Flora's on me. His gang is on the way here, and they're going to make a mess of her. I have to get a message to her, and fast. How do you know all of this? You seem to have a lot of information. I'm her tech. I've been monitoring the gang's calm. The last transmission said Flora's going to splatter her. Man, I'm a tech junkie. I don't know how to handle this. If you're a tech junkie, wouldn't you have given her some sort of communicator that she could put in your ear and you could have it in your ear so then it could communicate very, very easily? Some tech junkie you are. What are you asking? What do you want me to do? She and I have a code. If you go over and say two words to Fort, my friend will get the message and get out. The two words are terminal and eternity. In that order, please tell me you can do that. She's going to die. Why can't you do this? Sounds simple enough. Why can't you do it? I stare at monitors all day. I can't walk up and talk to a gang leader. Oh my gosh. Run away. Oh my I gosh. Can't let all die. It's just saying two words in a sentence. You can do that, right? I'll do it. I can do that. Thank you. Thank you. Remember, terminal and eternity. In that order, just work them into a sentence. Dude. Why? You're breathing on my drink. You're breathing on my drink. Don't put your drink in my face. You need something, man? Uh, terminal. Uh, terminal. Is there a public extranet terminal around here? In a club? You don't have an Omni tool? Shut that up. That is a pretty strange question. Oh, yeah? Well, what about Eternity? Tell me about that. I get by on public terminals. My Omni tool's been broken for an eternity. <laughs> That's a tough break. I'm done talking to you now. Hey, Florit. I have to pee. Yeah? Hurry back, Moirol. I'm ready to head out. Uh, well, there we go. Easy peas? Used to be Easy peas? Yeah. I went there. Thank you so much. I really thought she was going to die. Uh, I don't get anything for that? What happens if I talk to if I talk to Florit? <laughs> Bitch isn't coming back. I'm gonna find her. Uh, no, no, you're not. Whoop! Ah! That was my shoulder in your face. <laughs> you want to do get help? Is that is that where you, what you're saying? Get help. What are they hitting? Tonight. We'll hit him in the alley. As long as it isn't one of our ES people, we're good. We gotta get enough creds to keep Hank off our packs. Hank? Hey, what are you looking at? Hey, bud, just leave. I want you gone from here. 
Hey, we gotta pay the man. We work for Hink. You hear that? So, what do you think of us now? Uh, I'll help with your boss. How about I give you enough credits for your boss, then you leave and stay gone. No one gets her. Works for me. Let's go. Okay. Um, didn't say that we lost any credits, so... Do you know anyone interesting? Yeah, I do, though. Ha have you met my crew? They're awesome. Yeah, you're having a good time. Oh, yeah! Uh-huh. You love this song, huh? Me too. Have you ever heard of Expel 10? They're my favorite. Yeah. You know, I'll just leave you to whatever it is that you're doing. You obviously don't seem very into me. <laughs> Get it, girl. <laughs> I don't talk to people. Oh, okay. Now she's not interested. She's, I don't talk to people. Okay. It's Verf and Edwin. Yeah, I do. Uh, it's oh insult. What treat, do you have? Treat your customers. These are good people, but they look bored. Bored people don't spend much. And you got an idea for how I could fix that? A round of drinks shows that you appreciate their business. Your rep will improve, and you'll make more money in the end. Maybe worth a try once. You better be right. Listen up, everyone. We love having you here, so a round of drinks on the house! My name is Morin. I've been watching you. You're the most interesting person in this place. I've got a booth over here in the shadows. Why don't you come sit with me? Okay. Some nights I come here and there's no one interesting to talk to. Some nights, there's just one person. Tonight, it's you. Why is that? I don't know, maybe, maybe it's because we're alike, me and you? You and I want the same things. Do we? Yeah, we we want art. Do you know anything about art? It speaks to the darkest places in me. What about you? Um, I know, I like the Elcor Forta. Do you know the artist Forta? I didn't think anyone around here knew him. He's sublime. Art comes in many varieties. I've seen vids that were more powerful than a sculpture sitting in a gallery. Oh yeah? Does it happen to be Vienna? Do you know Vienna? My Vienna? Favorite. The two actresses on it are so glamorous. So glamorous, we'll I know. Watch it. Maybe we could do that together. <laughs> I know. <laughs> so edgy. Um Yo, you like Expel 10? What do you think of the music here? Dark rhythms, violent pulses. It stirs something primitive in me. What about you? Expel 10. I'm curious about a band called Expel 10. They get in my head and tear it to pieces. They're in concert soon. Maybe we should go together. You can lose yourself in the music here. There are ways to enhance that. You know? Oh yeah? Like Halix? What do you think of Halix? It slithers through my soul. Seems like we share some interests. Yeah. How about traveling? You love to travel? I travel all over the place for work. I've traveled all over the galaxy. It changes you, doesn't it? Um, I like the danger. Real travel means going to dangerous places. Where you can see and do things most people can't imagine. Yes. When I travel, I find myself drawn to dark, dangerous places. Violent places. Violence is yes. the surest expression of power. <sighs> um. Power is its own reward. Violence is a means to an end. Power is that end. Do you want to get out of here? My apartment is nearby and I want you alone. That, um, dare I say, was easy. Wow. Get distracted, Morinth. Whoa, that's a big dude back there, I think. Ooh, assault rifle. Assault rifle damage. Nice. Uh, 
<laughs> okay. Thanks for inviting me back. To oh, a sword. I was into dueling for a while. Oh. I love the moment you see it in your opponent's eyes. Oh, she's right there. He knows you're better, and he's going to die. She knows that I just looked at the schematic for the assault rifle. She knows. Knows. Pill bottle. Have a Halix if you want. But wouldn't you rather have all your senses be clear and sharp right now? I certainly do. Oh, yeah? Um. Oh, that's a sculpture of a Krogan? Krogan watches you in bed? This is a really nice apartment. I love any game where your opponent can believe he is about to win just before you kill him. You're just that good with the women? I, psh, that's how Commander Jay Shepard gets down, I guess. I like the edginess, but this is too much. Yes, she's super. Look at this sculpture. What the heck? A gift from a suitor. The statue's got more personality than he did. Still, he impressed me enough that he finally got what he wanted. It didn't end the way he hoped. Oh. Tell me about that. I love clubs. People, movement, heat. I can still hear the bass like the drums of a great hunt out for your blood. But here, it's muted and you're safe. Is that what you want, Shepard? Safety is a lie. People feel safest right before they die. It's true. We're never safe. I've never understood the fascination with safety. Some of us choose differently. Independence over submission? I think we share that, you and I. Mm, we're not alike, though. I just figured that out. We've both killed many times, but that's where the similarities end. Why do you say that I've killed? What do you know? Let's stop playing games. Uh oh. Looks like she's into that though. Look into my eyes and tell me you want me. Tell me you'd kill for me. Anything I want. Uh. Surprise! Don't count on it. But you. Who are you? Oh no. I see what's going on. The bitch herself found a little helper. Here's mommy. Lauren. Oh. Mother, do not call me that. I can't choose to stop being your daughter. Mother, you made your choice long ago. What choice? My only crime was being born with the gifts you gave me. Enough, Morin. I am the genetic destiny of the Asari, but they are not ready to reveal this. So I must die. You are a disease to be purged. Nothing more. I'm as strong as she is. Let me join you. I am already sworn to help you, Shepard. Let us finish this. Um, kill Morinth. Yeah. They actually give you the option to kill the mom? End of the line, Morinth. And they call me a monster. <laughs> Peace in the embrace of the goddess. Oh! Did she just explode her face? That sounded very squishy. I am ready to leave this place and get on with my life. Are you ready to go as well? I don't know. We, are we going to clean things up? Are you okay? Do you want to talk about what happened? Shepard, what do you think I will say? What can I say? I just killed the bravest and smartest of my daughters. There are no words. I will try another time. For now, show mercy on a broken old warrior and let us leave. Okay. Let's go. Wow. Achievement unlocked. Doppelganger. Tamara has dealt with a, uh, Arda Yakshi. She remains loyal to Shepard personally. Loyalty of the Justicar beyond question, given apparent bonds of oath rendered to Shepard. Better than hoped, Cerberus... Activities will not be affected further by the by presence of Shepard's team. Relieved to have Justicar's mission completed. Unfortunately, body of Arda Yakshi could not be taken for study. Genetic abnormality could have been useful. 
Subject's expertise would have made her a valuable team member if sociopath tendencies were mitigated. What? You could really get her for your crew? We leave the cleanup to Arya. Oh, level 26. Um, 30,000 credits. All right, let, let, let's go buy something. Uh, but did I see that right? This might be useful. All right, I think we actually have Morden's um, loyalty mission somewhere around here, but yes, we can choose to kill Samara and take her daughter with you. Wow. That's actually pretty darn cool. Uh, but her daughter clearly was awful. <laughs> so, um, but uh, I'm actually going to wrap it up here for tonight. I actually went longer than I thought I would. I'm a bit run down. <laughs> it's been been a pretty busy week of work and um it's like quarter past 10, so I got to I got to wind down for the night, but um yeah. Thanks for hanging out, guys. Um I hope you have a great Friday and um we'll see you next time. Peace.